Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to see how we can return one structure from the function. Like any other data type, the structure can also be returned from the function. So in the function declaration, the return type of the function has to be the structure type. And then we can use the return keyword and we can return one variable of that structure type. So in this example program, we have one structure called student with the data members name and role. Now we're gonna create one function and the return type will be student and the name of the function will be get student info. So whenever we call the function, it will take the name and role of the student and then it will return the student type variable. So first of all, I'm gonna create one student type variable is and then I'm gonna print enter name. And then I'm gonna use the C in and I'm gonna store that user input in the name data member. And then again I'm gonna print enter role and the user input will be stored in the member is dot role. And then I'm gonna use the return keyword and return the student variable is from that function. Now inside the main method, I'm gonna create one student type variable s1 and I'm gonna call the get student info function. So because the get student info function will return one student type variable, that's why we have stored that in the student type variable s1. Now we can use the student variable s1 and we can access the name and also we can access the role of that student so i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna run the program and it says enter name so i'm gonna enter the name as tom and the role as 10 and then it printed tom and the role is 10 so this way we can return one structure type variable from the function using the return keyword so hope you understand about the concept of returning structure from the function. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.